a true force of nature in a fight for survival. These three adult lions live in Ghana's biggest zoo in Kumasi. All were bred in captivity. According to a new report, they could be the only lions left in the country. Wildlife NGO Panthera surveyed 11 West African nations over a period of six years. They picked countries with large national parks where lions should be expected. However, lions or their tracks were spotted in just five. Ghana among those where no trace was found. Ghana's Government Wildlife Division doesn't agree with all the survey's findings. It says you can still find wild lions in Ghana, although it does admit numbers have shrunk to less than 50. Even though um, monitoring is very, very tight, especially in Mali National Park, I can confidently tell you that poaching is one of the factors. They could have been threatened by these poachers and maybe they move away. But we know actually the numbers should have been very, very low now and possibly they might have also relocated elsewhere and that is making it very difficult for us to know what is actually happening. Ghana does have some animal breeding and reintroduction to the wild programs like one for the primates you can see behind me. However, although experts here do agree that lion numbers are critically low in the wild, there's no such breeding and reintroduction program for them. I asked the head of Ghana's wildlife division why. Breeding of this uh, species, that is the cats in general, are very, very difficult and then their survival rate is very low. S but nonetheless, we can also try because this is the last resort. But funding for conservation is very low. So if we want to improve our situation, then we need to look at a funding or predictable funding mechanism which can sustain the conservation. <laughs> Panthera estimate across the whole of West Africa there's just 405 lions left in the wild. All parties agree urgent action is required to save the few that remain and secure their future. Katerina Vatotsi for CCTV in Kumasi, Ghana.